Colby and Avery. It's clear to everyone here that your love is something like no other, something you guys have sharpened and will continue to perfect, and we cannot wait to see it grow over time. Your relationship has endured all the tests that life can throw at it. At the very least, you have spent upwards of months at over 2,700 miles apart. You have spent years at long distances, always coming back to each other, making sure that your home is wherever you find yourselves. Ranging from the depths of the Grand Canyon all the way up to the peaks of the Cascades, your love has gone the distance and it has not quivered. They say that absence is to love as wind is to fire. It extinguishes the small and it kindles the great. We have no doubt that your love is one of the greats. But even more important than the physical distance is the test that comes with chasing passions. You have both supported, guided, and come back to each other while fulfilling your dreams of changing the world. Everyone around you, everyone here today, has watched you support each other through a multitude of challenges, including but not limited to getting college degrees, playing college athletics, late nights studying for test after test, night shifts in the hospital wondering if you're ever actually gonna get some sleep. Yet throughout all these challenges, challenges that often pull people apart, you have found a way to not only weather the storm and its lightning, but to actually use it to bring yourself closer together. This brings us to the final reason that your relationship is one for the ages. It inspires and it lifts up everyone that it touches. Not only because we can look at it for guidance and how to be a better person or a better partner, but because it's made our lives better. I asked several of our closest friends what they think of when they think of Colby and Avery. I heard things such as constant trust and love, sincere compassion, the definition of a perfect match. They described you both as two amazing people that are selfless, willing to drop whatever they are doing to help someone in need, the ultimate ride or dies. Colby and Avery, you have stood the test of time. Through all the trials and tribulations, you have consistently been the example of what love should look like. You have let the difficult times bring you closer together and form a kind of love that is individual and perfect for both of you. You have survived the valleys, you have climbed the mountains, you survived the storms, even when it brought its worst lightning. Therefore, it's no doubt in anyone's mind that you're ready for what lies ahead. Colby and Avery, I'm so happy to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. So ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you Mr. and Dr. Walton. the sky you take my hand in yours we'll make our own constellations i could say how much you mean to me but it won't mean a thing his words never sound quite right let's find our own kind of language we've searched the whole world Could say the sea, the highest mountain, bottom of the deepest sea. But no one's ever seen, no one's ever seen, ever seen a love like this. It could dig up all the baby treasures where it's worth more than anything. But no one's ever seen, no one's ever seen, ever seen a love like
they could say they see the highest mountain, bottom of the deepest sea. But no one's ever seen, no one's ever seen, ever seen a love.